With today's video, we're going to take a look at the MuleSoft Composer and the Salesforce Tajira to Slack process and Composer flow that we've built out here. Now, what this flow does and accomplishes is it is triggered on a new or updated case record within Salesforce. And then through the if else statement feature of the MuleSoft Composer, we're looking at the case type and then if it equals the value of bug, we're gonna create an issue under the project test and the bug type, as well as we're gonna sync some of these fields for this issue to those that we have collected through that case record, such as subject description and case reason, as we're gonna see below. The same thing we're doing with case type equals improvement. We're creating a new issue of the improvement type under project test we're signing myself as the user and then from here we're doing the same thing for an epic but here with the epic we're going to call that epic name we're going to give a case reason so from here what we're going to do is we're going to test this out so we'll wait for this to wait for the test to accept my trigger and then we will create a new case okay so it's a waiting trigger event we are going to create that case here. We're going to say bug found in field mobile application. We need to rush on this before Saturday morning. Client has pivotal obligations to meet. And then under type, we are going to put bug for case origin. We'll put community for priority. We'll put high and then we will hit save. And so what this will do is this will create the case record. And so from here, what we'll have is a corresponding issue created in the project test area of Jira under that project. And it will create a Slack message in my Jira issues channel. So what we're going to do is just come back over here. We're going to wait for this trigger event to register, which could take about a minute or so. And then we will move on and take a look at what that looks like within Jira and within Slack. And now that the test is finished, let's take a look at both Jira and Slack. So if I refresh the project test, we can see I now have a new issue of type bug with all the information from the case record. And if I come over to my Slack channel, Jira issues, I can see a new issue has been created and it gives me the URL here as well. So from Salesforce Service Cloud to Jira to Slack, it's now possible to easily, with clicks, not code, automate that integration flow.